This one is going to be short and sweet. If you like sandalwood fragrances, you are going to be all over this scent. Trust me. YouTube hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to my channel right you see the intro today I'm talking to you about Sandalo Nobile from the house of Nobile 1942 to me this is a sandalwood lovers dream it really really is right this come in a tester box so what I've done is I've pulled out one of my other boxes from another fragrance that I've got in their collection and I'm just going to show you, forget the name obviously, but this is the presentation of the box. That, so you've got some soft sponge inside. And then like that. That is the box. I just wanted to show you because I know sometimes some people like to see the presentation. So there it is. Right, these are 75ml bottles and it is other perfume concentration. Look at that stunning bowl look like i say it's a tester so you've got the notes on the back weighty cap we're going to do the knocking test weighty weighty cap it really is you've got the logo on top of the atomizer great atomizer as well let's waste a couple of sprays oh, straight away you just get that sandalwood man it smells so good right You've got saffron and cumin in the top. I'm going to read the notes off of here. You've got iris fig, it says fig wood, but it's fig tree, and gurgeon balsam in the mid. And in the base, you've got sandalwood, benzoin, white musk, and cedarwood. This opens with a spicy, peppery sandalwood. That is what you get in the opening. And let me tell you something, people, it is stunning. It really, really is. And then that fig, to me, it comes across ever so slightly fruity. Not heavy on the fruits, but there is something in there fruity. So that's definitely the fig. Plus, you've got like a green tone that sort of joins in and runs through the fragrance. So obviously, I think that's coming from the fig as well. It's a little bit balsamic. It's musky. It's... You've got the cedar wood, so it is a little bit woody. Obviously, you've got the sandal wood. The iris in this is just like an iris whisper through the back of the fragrance. It's just smooth, adding a little bit more creaminess. And the way it, it sort of coats all the notes in this soft, smooth creaminess. It really does. Plus, mixed with the sandal wood. Gorgeous fragrance. It really is. This fragrance is quite linear, but I don't care about that because this smells fantastic. I love sandalwood. I love iris. And how this opens, man, it can stay like that all day long. It really, really can. Once it's sort of everything calms down, right, the cumin. To me, the cumin in this is ever so slightly bitter but only in the opening and it's sitting in the back i know sometimes cumin can be off-putting it isn't in this it's just ever so slightly a little bit bitter in the back and then it sort of calms down with the whole fragrance it's sort of the, everything just relaxes and then on the late dry down you still get the sandalwood you get little hints of the iris you get that gurgeon balsam so i also get it's little vanillic touches with this ever so slightly little vanillic touches it, they come in they go out they come in they go out and then they're gone every time i've worn it that has happened maybe it's just my nose playing tricks on me but i swear i can detect little hints of vanilla in this overall a fantastic scent definitely unisex right i think it's a more dressed up fragrance because you've you got the cedar wood in there, you've got the sandal wood. It comes across a little bit classy, so to speak. I mean, women, you can wear this 
all day, every day, because women make a lot more effort than what men do when they're getting ready. So women, you can wear this whenever you want. Feathers, so can you. But I just think it would go better if you're a little bit dressed up because it's, it, oh, man, it smells great. It really, really does. Like I say, if you like sandalwood, you will love this fragrance. There is nothing to dislike about it to my nose. There really isn't. Right, projection, it's good for the first hour. Then it rains in a bit. And then it's trickling off the skin. It, by about the three and a half hour mark, it's a skin scent. And then four and a half to five hours, it dissipates. So if you're wearing this, spray your clothes. This would be a nine out of 10 if the projection and the longevity was there. It's not beast mode by any means. It's a soft, moderate fragrance. It really is. But I would give this an 8 out of 10. Fantastic. I know I've said it a few times, but it really is. It's gorgeous. And just the way that iris carries through the back of the fragrance and it, it just rounds them notes. It is great. It really is. Right, so unisex, where and when to wear it. Longevity done. Overall, fantastic. Right, people, let me know if you've tried this fragrance. Let me know what you think about this fragrance. Let me know which ones you've tried from their house. Remember, people, smelling good's always a pleasure and never a chore, and I will definitely seize you lot on the next one. Cheers.